I told the story how I was fired from McDonald's? No. You got fired from McDonald's? Yeah, so I worked there as a teenager. My presence. Okay, McDonald's. Uh, as a kid, I, I was in high school, I worked at McDonald's. I remember working there and using my first paycheck to get Bioshock Infinite. Hmm. And being disappointed. But, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I, I was working at McDonald's, and what I would do is when I would make the nuggets, I would dip them in habanero, ha, habanero sauce. They had that available yeah. at the McDonald's? Yes, yes, and it was so good! McDonald's habanero sauce is fucking delicious! Yeah. So as I was working, I would... Left and right, no, no workers in sight, no employees in sight. <laughs> and you know, then... Yeah. I'd dip it in, and then I would eat like a handful. But it was so spicy, it would make me fucking cry. So... They fired you for crying? No, no. Oh, hey, look, there's a shotgun room. did it! So... I, you know, okay. All other staff members, there was solidarity. Oh. We wouldn't, we wouldn't out each other or anything for eating on the job. Yeah. And, and some managers totally don't mind. It's really just luck of the draw. Yeah. But, the manager that was on shift that day was a fucking bitch. So... I waited. I watched her go into the back room where she was super <laughs> far away. And this dude came up to me, he's like, dude, he's like, Please, please take my shift tomorrow. I was like, no, bitch. <laughs> Get out of the way. I was eating the habanero sauce. He's like, please, please, please take my shift tomorrow. And I thought about it long and hard. And I was like, you know what, dude? I'll take your shift tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, just leave me alone. And I dipped the nuggets in the habanero sauce. Mm. And I made it. It was like the biggest, wettest dip <laughs> I had ever done. And I started eating it, right? And I was like, Oh, and I was like literally fucking crying. I'm like red in the face. And then I heard the manager come up behind me. She's like, oh, Dave, you're you're taking this more on shift tomorrow. Mm. And I was like, <laughs> and like there was there's Lyle, you ever had too much nugget in your damn throat? <laughs> There was no swallowing. It was impossible. So you literally did the <laughs> thing. No, no. She was like, she was like, are you taking the shift tomorrow? And I was like trying to chew, but it, it was too late. She was like, turn around and face me now. Why aren't you looking at me? Oh my and I turn God. around and literally there's orange crap fucking pouring out of my mouth. My face is red and I'm crying. And she looks at me and she's like, get the fuck out. Oh my God. And what I, a horrible And woman. I got fired. That's what you get, you How did she bastard? know that you weren't just leaking meat and crying <laughs> over the death of your grandmother? Yeah, how, how would she not? <laughs> I should have gone back and been like, how'd you know? Dave, what did the guy's shift have to do with the story? Oh, because if I didn't take that, she would she, we never spoke to each other. Uh, she would have never asked me shit if I didn't take that guy's shift. I was nice one time in my life, and it made her fucking instant transmit behind me. And it sucked my- it sucked dick. <laughs>